Hey, it's Sharon. Are you looking for a workout to help control belly fat? Well, this 10 minute ab workout is designed just for you. All you need is a mat or a soft surface to work out on. Let's get started. Thank you for coming to work out with me today and welcome back to my community of fitness enthusiasts. If you're here for the first time, welcome also. So this routine is just 10 minutes of ab workout to help control or lose that belly fat. So I think there'll be modifications in this, but I think everybody can do this workout. My channel's designed for people over 40 or beginners, but again, I always emphasize proper form and modifications. We are not doing any warm up. We really don't need to right now because we're just doing abs. And we'll do some stretching at the end. So we're gonna get right into this. I'm gonna start out with crunches. So I'm gonna show you first every exercise we're doing. I'll give you modifications if I think you might need them. So this one is just a crunch. You want to reverse your core down. So if you feel like you have a gap right here, I want you to pull those hips, hips down, retract them back and pull that core down to the mat. I want you to keep that in your mind with all these ab exercises. You wanna to try not to arch your back, keep that back nice and flat to the mat. We're gonna have our arms back by our heads, just put them right here. If you need a little bit more support, bring your hands closer to the middle of your head. We're gonna come up and roll up and do a crunch. So you wanna roll back down and roll back up. And we're gonna to try to keep our elbows back instead of bringing them forward. We're gonna do 40 seconds of each of these exercises. There's six of them, and then we'll repeat our set, and you never know, we might throw in one or two more, but we'll see. All right, so let's get in position. We're gonna do 40 seconds on the clock, and let's go. So lift up and roll back down. Again, bring your hands closer if you need a little bit more support. Sometimes people that are just starting out doing crunches have problems with neck support. Go at your own ability and your own pace. So lift up and retract down. Nice and slow. Your feet should be pointed in the same direction. So take a peek, make sure they're both facing forward. Keep going and breathe. Lift, so really lift at that core. We're almost there. Put your hand on your belly if you want and one more. Okay, we're gonna come back to that on round two. The next one is a bridge. We're gonna be on our back. I believe everybody can do this one also. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on your, um, on your back. Again, reverse your hips down, tuck in that core, push your core down to the mat, pushing your back down. So our hands are gonna be by our side. Our leg is gonna be down. All we're gonna do is lift up, try to bring our knees the same height and come back down. If you cannot lift your leg all the way up, all you can do, you can do regular bridges up and down, or you can just bring your knee up and down. Any version works. And then we're gonna do 40 seconds on the other side. All right, getting that going. So leg down, get in position, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So you're gonna lift straight up. As you come back down, I want you to bring your, your core down, reverse that core back to that mat. I want you to be really mindful of where your back comes down, bringing that leg down. Lift, lift those glutes, strong core. Press up and down. Again, you can just be doing bridges, that's fine. All right, lift if you can and come back down. Nice and control, use that core. We're burning some belly fat using that core. Keep going, lift. Come back down and let's do one more up and down. So we're gonna go to the other side now. Again, if you're not doing the up and down with your legs, just continue with those bridges. Concentrate on squeezing that core and those glutes. All right, hands by your side, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's lift, come up and all the way down. Lift, try to match my knees towards each other and try not to lean. So as you lift up your leg, your body might feel like it wants to lean to that side. Try to use that core to brace yourself. Keeping my hands kind of loose, try not to use them as I come up into that bridge, using those core, that core and those glutes. <sighs> lift, press that back, to, back down. Lift, squeeze, <sighs> and breathe through it. We're almost there. Let's come up, hold it and come on down. 
Great. All right, let's bring our knees into our chest and take a little bit of a deep breath. So we're gonna do a reverse, a reverse crunch, or it could be even a hip thrust, but we're just not gonna go all the way up with our legs. We're gonna have our hands by our side. We're gonna stay in this bridge. What you're gonna do is lift your legs, use that hip and core, rock back, come back, and touch. However, if this doesn't work for you, just come here, do a little lift, and come down. So you don't have to do that rock all the way back. Let me show you one more time. So you could be here, rock back, come down, or just here, lift a little bit and touch back down. That's your modification. All right, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So I'm gonna lift, come back, I'm trying not to rock it. So I don't wanna go like this and rock it back and forth. I really wanna control it with my hips and my core and come down. You're gonna feel this right in your lower part of your abs and back down. Nice and control. So we're gonna look at each other from time to time, but your gaze should be up at your ceiling. Lift and push. As you notice, we're not going fast. All oh, thinking about our core. Strengthening that core. Burning those calories in that body fat. We're almost there, let's do one more. And up. Okay, so we're staying here. Gosh, we're just resting on the mat now. No, not really. So we're gonna do a crossover oblique. So we're gonna use our obliques on this one. I'm gonna bring one leg over, top my other one. So my body is twisted, my hip is squared to the ceiling, my shoulders are squared to the ceiling. So even though I have my leg out, I don't wanna twist my shoulder, I wanna keep it on the mat. Again, your hands are gonna be behind your head. All we're gonna do is lift up. So now we're engaging that oblique right on the side of our abs. So we're gonna come up and down 40 seconds on one side and 40 seconds on the other. Let's go, 40 seconds. So up, crunching and coming down. Modification, you could just stack your knees if you want to, or go back to those regular crunches. Lift that leg out if you can. Again, we all have different abilities. If you're just starting out, then maybe start here or go back to regular crunches. Try it and you can always switch it up. Push. So my chin is going towards the ceiling, looking at the ceiling, except looking at you from time to time. Crunch it up, feel that in your oblique, and push. Keeping those elbows back, we're almost there, and one more, great. I'm gonna switch this around and come this way towards you. All right, you know what, let's take a quick drink of water. I'm feeling very thirsty all of a sudden. All right. We're gonna lay down, put your left leg down, your right leg is over. Hands behind your head, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. So press up and come down. Again, nice and control. Your chin is going towards that ceiling. Feel that right here. You can even put your hand there if you want to. Feel the side of your abs. Keep going, lift. So you're probably feeling a little bit warm, you're moving, that's all getting that belly fat going. You're just burning it through this workout. Keep going, push, lift. Use that core, curling up, pressing back down. We're almost there. And one more, come back down. All right, everybody come up slowly. We're gonna take a quick little break, get that drink of water, and then we're gonna repeat our set. This workout's designed for you. If you only have a little bit of time in the morning, you just wanna get in a quick ab workout, but you wanna feel like you did something, that's why we're doing this workout. All right, come back down. Arms behind your head. We're going back to those crunches. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Lift and back. Keeping those elbows back. So if you're here a little bit, that's okay. Try not to come all the way up like this. Really wanna concentrate on that core. Also, this helps build up that neck so you can get to exercises where you're just coming like this, where some people have trouble with that because their neck bothers them. So let's practice with this crunch, curling at that core, pushing that back down to the mat. Come on up, lift your shoulders as high as you can go. Again, we all have different abilities. Come on up, feeling that crunch, we're almost there. How's that core feeling? And one more. 
Great. All right, we're back to that single leg bridge. We're gonna put our leg down. We're gonna lift up, or you can do bridges, just up and down, or you can do knee up and down. Any of those versions work. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. So our back is married to the mat. Lift up, bring it back down, reverse that core, use that core. Feeling that. So this is a compound exercise. We're engaging our legs, our glutes, and our abs at the same time. Revving up our metabolism, which means we're burning calories. <sighs> Push, lift, lift that core. You can use your hands if you want, get a little bit more lift in there. <sighs> really trying to press that core up to that ceiling. Lift, now go back to that mat. <sighs> Keep going. We're almost there. And one more, great. Bring those legs in, take a little breather. Let's bring that leg down, left leg down now. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Press up and down. Make sure the standing leg is comfortable for you, that you can get some stability, keeping those shoulders on the mat. Sometimes you feel like they're coming up with you as you're lifting. Really press them down, just like you're pressing that back into the mat as you come down. Lift, use that core. Breathe through it. We're not rushing. Sometimes going slower is harder. Keep going, we've got this. You'll feel like you can start your day or end your day with this. You ready? We're almost there. Let's do one more, up and down. A great workout for the end of the day too. Right before you go to bed, hit this 10 minute video. All right, we're doing those crunches. Bring one leg over. Then we're going to crunch. Oh, we forgot. Sorry, we forgot the reverse crunch. So we're going to come here, reverse crunch and come down, or you can just come here and lift. All right, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Reverse it, lift, use that core and come back down. Again, shoulders on the mat. Try not to use momentum. So be very easy here to rock it. I'm really concentrating on that lower core. So coming up, using that core to push back down. Hope you're feeling that. So try to keep that rock out of it. Again, get that back down on that mat. Protect that lower back. And lift. Really think about this one. Push, come up. We're almost there. And that's great. All right, now we're doing the crossover. So we are going to Bring our leg over, bring your hands behind your head. We're gonna lift up, driving our chin towards the ceiling. 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Up, so again, your obliques run down the side of your abs. That's what we're concentrating right on here. Lift, push, drive that chin up, look at the ceiling, one, two, count up, one, two, count down. So one, two, one, two. Try not to rush through it. Feel that in your core. It should be burning, not painful, but burning. You definitely feel like you're working it. Keep going. We're almost there. Let's come up one more and come back down. I'm gonna switch myself around. Crossing over my right leg, over my left. All right. Ready in position, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go, press up and come down. Again, get comfortable. You're kind of leaning on your hip. <sighs> Definitely feel that core. So again, now you're on this side. Put your hand on your belly if you want. Feel that oblique running down the side of your abs. <sighs> Keep going. <sighs> Lift. A little awkward this way. Again, you can stack your feet if you want to or go back to those regular crunches. <sighs> Lift, we're good, keep going. Feel that in your obliques. We're on the home stretch here. <sighs> Almost there. Lift, and we're good. All right, let's bring our knees into our chest for a second, take a deep breath, and roll on up. So we're gonna do some light stretching right now. If you have to go, that's fine. Try to do a little bit of stretching, maybe before you get in the shower, before you go to bed but I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna bring one leg in, one leg out, we're gonna stretch down. So now we're stretching, our core is engaged, 
and just hang here for a second and take a couple deep breaths. We're gonna bring that leg up and over and we're gonna twist now. Sit up nice and straight, pulling on that core, twisting those obliques. And let's switch to the other side. All right, come on down. And bring your leg up and over. And again, twist. So we're twisting at that core. Nice deep breaths. We're gonna come on all fours and we're gonna do, we're gonna let ourselves go. So let your belly come down. We're letting it sag, a little arch in your back. And come all the way up and like a cat, arch that bag back all the way up. Let's let it come down, stretch out that core and come all the way up. Let's do that one more time. Down and all the way up. Let's sit towards each other. We're just gonna take our hands, crisscross your legs, come towards each other. Take a deep breath. And bring your hands behind, push them away. And let's take a deep breath up. And come on down. Thank you for working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute ab workout. Remember, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when more videos are posted. I'll leave a list of the exercises below the video. There's a description of the video or below the video, there's some area where I leave um, notes. So go ahead and look there. And I also have a 30 day fitness plan. It's on my website. You'll find the link below and I will see you on your next workout.